It's Kim, and this Photoshop stuff is getting really out of hand. So I put out a video a few weeks back talking about Madonna and her new face at the Grammys, and the video really got into a lot of things about unrealistic beauty standards and about how the media does everything they can and uses every trick in the book to really convince us that these unattainable beauty standards are attainable. And that so much of the beauty industry is based on preying on people's insecurities, of giving them products that will fix their problems so they feel better about themselves. And one thing I noticed when I went down that rabbit hole was I could not get away from the Kardashians or the Jenners. The Kardashians and the Jenners have a long history of controversy regarding Photoshop, and specifically, their Photoshop fails. There seems to be a trend of them trying to make themselves look thinner or having proportions that are not humanly possible. And in many of the photos, you can see warping around their bodies, which is a dead giveaway that the photo has been edited. There's also a lot of face tuning going on and other weird edits. Ignoring how edited Chloe's face is on the photo on the left, she's also missing half of her necklace chain in the edited picture. Kendall Jenner has been included in this trend of posting photos that are heavily photoshopped. My personal favorite is this one, because no one has legs this long. I honestly don't believe that this is even humanly possible, and the editing on her waist is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. So when I did do my video on Madonna, there was a whole draft where I included all of those pictures that I just showed you, all of the Photoshop fails, but I decided not to do it because I didn't want to be too hard on them. And I say that specifically because I've seen how hard the media has been on these women. The body shaming Chloe has experienced is awful. And the way the media attacked Kim when she was pregnant was disgusting. In particular, when it came to Kim's case and being pregnant, she actually had a medical condition called preeclampsia, which causes a lot of swelling in the feet and in the face. But more so than that, it also affects the kidneys and the livers, and sometimes it can get out of control and actually cause life-threatening harm to the mother and the baby. Kim shared on Instagram that she gained 60 pounds and delivered almost six weeks early. She cried every day over what was happening to her body and the comparisons she was experiencing in the media, particularly being compared to Shamu the whale. And I don't want to be mean to people who are suffering and who are in a situation that I could never relate to. I have no idea what it feels like to be them. But even I have limits, and this Photoshop fail pushed me too far. So Kendall posted some photos recently on her Instagram that have caused some controversy. In particular, one photo. Now, I do have to censor this photo a little bit. It doesn't violate Instagram's terms of service, but YouTube can be a bit more strict about that. Now, Kendall looks beautiful. She's obviously a stunning woman. But do you see the issue here? It's not her back or her bum or her legs. It's her hand. What is going on with her hand? Can someone please explain this to me? She has a floating piece of hand. Are we photoshopping hands now? Do we need Instagram filters for our fingers? You guys, I think we're all gonna have to start getting Botox in the palms of our hands. We've all got wrinkles and we gotta deal with that. And then of course people notice because how can you unsee that? So people started to freak out and understandably so. When you put this picture in line with all of the other shenanigans we've seen from the Kardashians and the Jenners and the way that they've handled Photoshop, it's becoming very clear that this is just ridiculous. And my speculation is all of this fuss made Kendall feel like she needed to make some sort of a statement. So her friend Haley Bieber actually posted a story on her Instagram addressing it. We're sitting here analyzing. Look how bizarre her hand looks normally. This is live, live footage of the hand. I am ashamed to tell you how many times I watched that video. And I watched it over and over because I wanted to compare. I wanted to see this hand compared to the hand in the photo. I took a screen cap and here is the side by side. The hands are in a similar position, and what looks to be the same hand. Look at the length of the fingers. Look at the shape of the hand. Why would you even deny this? This is, quite bluntly, one of the dumbest Photoshop jobs I have ever seen. I don't understand the point of it. I don't understand the point of denying it. I don't understand the point of the edit in the first place. And I don't understand why you would need to lie about the width or length of your hand. And if it is Kendall feeling insecure about her hands, which wouldn't surprise me, she has made jokes about her hands before. She posted pictures back in 2019 of her naked in her bathtub where she captioned it, classic alien hand. Can I genuinely ask what is alien looking about her hands? I mean, I've got a soft spot in my heart for aliens if you can't tell by some of the things behind me, but I've never seen alien hands like that. But what bothers me the most about this is that Kendall knows the power that she has. 
She knows that she has fans that look up to her and women who want to look like her. And after that photo of her in the bikini at the photo shoot came out, Kendall did go on Twitter to address it because she was seeing comments from followers and fans talking about how the photo made them feel. In response to a comment that said, I got 99 problems and looking like Kendall Jenner would solve all of them, Kendall said, I am an extremely lucky girl, appreciative of all that I have. But I want you to know I have bad days too and that I hear you. You are beautiful just the way you are. It's not always as perfect as it may seem. And that's awesome. I'm glad she did that. It's important to hear that from the people themselves. But less than two weeks after that, Kendall posted a video of herself in a bikini and was caught using a body filter. Separate from that, though, I do have to recognize that in the comments of that Instagram post, there is someone referencing the legendary this. What was the I reason? Just explain, I just explained the reason. What was the reason, bitch? Appropriate at all times. <laughs> and honestly, I think this is a question we should be asking ourselves. What is the reason? Why is it that we have to have all of these women in our media be so freaking perfect all the time? Like, when you really stop and think about it, it's a bit demented. I also have to point out that some of these Photoshop things are just so obviously fake, I don't understand why they are wasting the energy to even do it. Like, I'm sorry, Kim K, but no amount of liposuction, crash dieting, weight loss, gummies, or cool sculpting is going to make your knees disappear. I also believe a lot of you have enough money to buy homes that have properly structured door frames and good curtains that don't defy gravity. And I know Kourtney Kardashian is a very tiny woman and people do not have perfectly symmetrical bodies, but you cannot tell me that that is naturally her arm. I, for one, am very thankful that we live in a time where we can actually talk about this, where we can call out the inconsistencies and the deception. The reality is industry standard programs, Photoshop and related apps are readily available to the general public. And no matter what we are told, we can take a look at this information for ourselves and dissect it. And I think that it's critically important for all of us that we continue to do that. I think it's just time for truth and self-acceptance. And above all, I think we all need to stop beating ourselves up that we don't look like specific celebrities because they don't even look like them. Well, that's the video. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to leave a like. You can also comment down below. Please check and see if you're subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, you are welcome to do so. And if you really like this video, feel free to check out my membership option to join my community of Space Angels. I try to put up extra content there every week. A lot of it is a bit more freeform, it's a bit more relaxed, it's less edited, but it also gives me more freedom to be able to share things with you guys that I like and that I'm interested in and other rants and other stuff like that. Well, that's it. Much love. Bye. Hi, Lacey. It's been a while since we've done a little bit of like a check-in to you and how things have been going. I wanted to share with everybody. So this is Lacey's bed that she chills in for most of the day when I'm working. She keeps her eye on me and then also just kind of relaxes. Lacey, do you want to show everyone your new bed or, or treat first? Okay, treat. It's so dry out. It's so staticky. I can't get her ears to calm down. Yeah, you love these. Okay, can you show me your new bed? So recently, Lacey's aunt, or my sister, has started to work in the office. I know you love these so much. Um, so she's moved into my studio for work. And because of Sammy, she bought a bed for Sammy. But uh, Lace Lacey believes that this is her bed. Yeah. This is now the bed <laughs> for part of the day, at least. I know, like, I don't know if you're going to fit, hun. Okay, say goodbye to everybody.